you have three installation strategies to choose from. High-touch retail media deployment, in which you use something like a DVD, a product DVD for Windows 10, and you go around each machine in turn, insert the DVD, start it up, and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the deployment. That is appropriate for a small number of machines, but very time-intensive and uh, a tortuous process if you have hundreds of computers to configure. Low-touch deployments, where your input is fairly minimal. You'll use some sort of deployment technology and some sort of image-based system. We'll discuss that in a moment. You will be required to perform some sort of input during the deployment, but it's minimal. And zero-touch deployment, where you have uh, sufficient infrastructure in place that you don't need to involve yourself with, with, with touching the computers to which you will deploy Windows 10, hence zero-touch. Windows 10 uses an image-based installation and deployment model. You can use the following tools to work with these images. The Deployment Image Servicing and Management, or DISM tool. This is a command line tool and can be used to service both online and offline images. Windows Configuration Designer. This is part of the Windows ADK. You can use the Windows Configuration Designer to create packages, which you can use to reconfigure deployed devices. Once you've created your images, you can deploy them using DVD installation, USB installation, an additional service like Windows Deployment Services. This is a Windows Server 2016 server role. Image-based installation. You can store your images on a shared network folder. Or you can use Windows SIM to create answer files. Windows SIM is also part of the Windows ADK. You can also configure upgrade readiness. This is quite a complex technology. I'd recommend you visit the website listed at the bottom of this slide to find out more. But using upgrade readiness, you can gather the following data from your organization's computers. You can find out about specific computers. You can find out about applications. You can find out about drivers. You can then use this data to determine whether your organization is ready for Windows 10. To configure upgrade readiness, you must understand it's part of the Microsoft's Operation Management Suite. You will require an Azure subscription to use upgrade readiness. Once you access the Solutions Gallery in the Microsoft Operations Management Suite, select Upgrade Readiness. And then begin the process of assessing your organization's readiness. Let's take a look at performing a clean installation. So when you start setup, you're prompted to choose a language and time and currency format and any keyboard layout that you want. I'm just going to accept the defaults here and then choose install. I accept the license terms and then I'm going to choose custom installation. You can see I have a single hard disk here. If I click next, it will set up the appropriate partitions and format them appropriately for me. So now files are copied and then we progress through a process of installing features and updates before prompting us through a short wizard to complete the installation process. Um, after a, a while, your computer will restart and then setup will continue. So when you're prompted, you can configure the appropriate region. And keyboard layout. If you want, you can add additional keyboard layouts.
enter a default local account and a password confirm the password and a hint if you want to enable Cortana you can do so accept the privacy settings or not and then your desktop environment is built And there we go, desktop is built. In the demonstration you saw how to perform a clean installation of Windows 10.